positively funny. We meet every week, every Tuesday here at 7. How many of you have seen us before? Like to see? Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Round of applause. Uh, the rest of you, hands raised if this is your first time seeing us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Wow, welcome, welcome. Awesome. Good to have you, good to have you. Uh, well, if you've never seen us before, and if you've never seen improv before, basically what's going to happen up here is uh, we're going to be making everything up on the spot. Uh, so it'll probably get pretty obvious here pretty quickly. Uh, but you'll, uh, we don't have any scripts, we didn't write anything, we didn't come prepared really at all. Uh, and so uh, you'll see that. Uh, but we'll be relying rather, <laughs> we'll be relying on you uh, for suggestions of people, places, things. And we're going to be taking those ideas and playing a scene with them right before your very eyes, never to be seen again, for better or for worse. Uh, and that's how the night's going to go. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And because of that, because we need you, you guys are just as much a part of the show as we are. The lights are just up here so you can see us, uh, but we need you. We need you. And uh, you have some very important roles. Uh, first of all, really, if you like what you saw up here, if you, you know, a scene happens and the lights go out and everything, and you like that, just take your hands, go like this. For <laughs> moments well you take your hands and you do this yeah. and uh, that will help us get through uh, we, we need your support we applaud failure <laughs> uh, and also like I mentioned we're gonna be relying on some uh, suggestions from you okay uh, so we need to get our brains in gear here so we're gonna be asking for people places things so like for example oh man we have a lot going on this week we've got Valentine's Day on Friday, we've got the Olympics going on, so there's lots to draw from Winter here. Winter storm warnings. Winter storm warnings, you, you brave few. <laughs> Men of <laughs> brethren uh, <laughs> have made it out. Uh, so we'll be asking for all sorts of things. So maybe uh, in light of Valentine's Day, maybe a place that you went on your first date, and and you might shout out, just shout it out. The Blue Monkey. All right, excellent. So uh, then we might we would take that and do a scene either about the Blue Monkey of the place, or maybe just a monkey that is blue. I don't know. Uh, up to us. Uh, and so, uh, okay, maybe also perhaps uh, a food you might eat while you watch the Olympics. Pizza. Pizza. All right, excellent. <laughs> and so we go from there. You get the idea. That's how uh, the evening will go. Um, <laughs> Yay. Pizza! Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> everybody warmed up. We good. It's a little chilly outside. Let's, uh, let's practice like... Uh, we just need to practice some cheers, get some energy up here. So, uh, like you're watching the Olympics, and the the Swedish curling team just scored a basket. <laughs> <laughs> you cheer! Yeah! So, all seven in people in the Olympic audience also would sound like that. So, so that's pretty pretty accurate. What if the U.S. team? Just U.S. <laughs> team does something awesome. Yeah! About the same. It's about the same. Right away. Okay. Uh, so we'll have a lot of fun tonight. Got a lot of stuff to draw from. Uh, any couples out the audience? Any? Any? Did any of you make this your Valentine's Day date? It's not Valentine's Day. Good. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. We're not even looking for it. We would give you your money back. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's move on with the show, shall we? Uh, yeah. First, let's introduce uh, myself and my friends. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi. 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 <laughs> Lovely in a red dress, Chris! <laughs> oh, killing me softly with his song, Ty! <laughs> Can't get enough of his love, Pierce! <laughs> Captain Fluffy Pants himself, not you! here, you will not recognize Matthew. He is our very special guest today. We're very happy to have him. He's well-trained, better than any of us. We're looking forward to all that. No pressure. Uh, and finally, David! The godfather of Positively Funny. Well, this is Positively Funny. Also introduce Mike back here at the Sad and Live group. When the lights go off, you can thank him. Also, Beverly here at the door. Beverly, uh, you should, because you owe us five bucks. So make sure you see her, introduce yourself, and, you know, thanks. We're going to start off with a game called Questions, okay? So the game will take place between two people. Uh, pay no attention to the actors behind them, just look at these two. Uh, and the scene's going to take place 
they can say anything, anything they want as long as it's in the form of a question, okay? If it does not end with a question mark, it does not count. Uh, and we need you to keep them honest about that, okay? So be listening. If one of the people in the scene up here does not say something that's a question, or if they just take too long to try to think of anything to say, that's not allowed either. So uh, we need you to just get them off the stage in the back with a big, loud, obnoxious, like, X with your arms. Everyone arms up like this and make a big, loud buzzer sound like, eh. Okay, these two didn't do it. <laughs> Which means you have to do it all by yourself. Right. Arms together. And ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah! Woo! I see why they didn't do it the first time. That's good. Appreciate it. on stage with us. <laughs> All right, excellent. Okay, and that whoever uh, whoever made the mistake up here will have to go to the back and be replaced by someone else, and, and they'll start a brand new scene. So this is questions. Wow, from you. Uh, we just need a location. So, in light of this, uh, what is an unlikely city for the Olympics to ever take place in? Unlikely. <laughs> unlikely. Perhaps never seen oh, them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Where? Yeah. Jackson, Mississippi. All right, this scene takes place in Jackson, Mississippi. <laughs> Great. This is questions. Action. Is this, is this the luge? <laughs> <laughs> Where's that Winter Olympic barbecue? It's over there next to the big combine. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot the game. <laughs> Where are you going to take me on a date? Have you ever been ice skating? <laughs> Does this show you? Have you ever been ice skating? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you just watch me do that awesome stuff? Are you stupid? <laughs> Does my IQ test prove that I'm right in saying that I am? <laughs> Is that a question? <laughs> Is this thing real? Wasn't it signed by President Barack Obama? <laughs> it <must> be real. <laughs> Why have you placed so much butter on my biscuit? <laughs> Don't you like your biscuits smothered with butter? Why would I want so much butter on my biscuits? I'm sweet enough or buttery enough. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you seducing me so? Well, it depends you're wearing it all. <laughs> Did you bring me my grease pig? Does this one count? Did you grease all of it? <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe they gave me a gold medal? You don't even deserve that? Did you know I didn't even race? <laughs> Is it real gold? Are you biting my medal? <laughs> Did I lose two? Did you have all of them to begin with? <laughs> Get going. <laughs> Is this where we're going to be competing? Does that look like the gravy train to you? <laughs> Is that sausage gravy? Would you make it with anything else? Do you have any syrup for my pancakes? There's pancakes! <laughs> Isn't that your Aunt Jamama? <laughs> 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 Why are we having the Olympics in a place don't even get no wintry weather? Isn't that what's happening in Sochi? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Where do I get shoot stuff? Uh, would you believe behind the barn next to the elementary school? Do I gotta bring my skis? Are we doing ski shooting? Isn't that the only way to shoot kids? <laughs> Are you sure you want to go there? <laughs> Can I take that last question back? <laughs> Go.
school teacher. I'm sure she liked that last comment. So we're going to do a game called Genre Roller Coasters. What I'm going to need from you guys is to uh, give me a list and uh, just shout these out whenever they come to you of different styles and genres of movies, television, theater. Uh, and I'll write them down here on this board and we'll use them for our next game. Sci-fi. Sci-fi. Mystery. Sci-fi mystery. And romance. A mystery, romance, and you said infomercial? Yes. I just wrote Ramos, but that's okay. I'll figure that out. Uh, infomercial. Fantasy. Fantasy. It's the same thing as an infomercial. I've seen them late at night. <laughs> Drama. Drama. All right. Some more, please? Made for Made for what? Made for TV. Made for TV, and what was in the back? Made, that's also made for TV, so that's good. Made for TV, movie, and soap opera. Did we say comedy? We have not, but we're trying. <laughs> so we'll get that one right now. We'll get that. Maybe it'll make it funnier. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, as a few more, please. The Olympics. The Olympics. Also a genre of theater. <laughs> the Olympics. All right, I like that. All right. Uh, some more, please. Film noir. Film noir. That's newer than the last one. All right, film noir. <laughs> Musical. <laughs> okay, I can wait for that one. Musical. A few more, please. Puppet count. Puppets do count. <laughs> do you want counting puppets or just puppets? <laughs> one. Ah, ah, ah. All right, so puppets. <laughs> no, I was alive for the puppets. Uh, any more? A few more, please. Mockumentary. Mockumentary. Good, good. Mockumentary. Not really sure what the difference is. I make fun of all documentaries. Some equal opportunity. How about uh, three more? Drama. We have drama. We can do it twice again. Sarcasm. Say again. Sarcasm. I was being sarcastic when I said we do it twice. That's cool. Sarcasm. Gay and lesbian. Gay and lesbian. We want to make sure we get both of them in there. Gay and lesbian. Teen drama. Teen drama. Gay and lesbian team. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other ones you guys want to get off your chests? C-SPAN. C-SPAN. Good. <laughs> Should have ended when I was ahead. All right. C-SPAN. All right. Can I get two actors on stage, please? What's going to be happening is uh, we're going to be doing a, uh, a scene, or they'll be doing the scene, and uh, throughout the scene, I'm going to call out one of these genres, and they're going to instantly begin to do that scene in the genre, hence the term genre roller coaster. And uh, so the scene's going to morph a little bit based on these genres that you've given me. Um, but what I need uh, to give a descriptor, uh, sort of a suggestion for the scene, is um, I would like to know where uh, anyone here who had a very strange place they went on their first date, like not your typical place. Frisbee golf. Frisbee golf. <laughs> My girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You're so nice. Frisbee golf. Hey, baby, you want to throw some a plate? All right. Frisbee golf. All right, so this scene will have something to do with frisbee golf, genre roller coasters in three, two, and one. Craig, I can't believe you're out here on my course again. Well, I can't help but be up the best course in all Southeast Birmingham. Well, thank you. That means a lot to me. Yeah. But you're still my rival. Well, all the better to beat you on your home turf then. <laughs> Olympics. All right. <laughs> I'll show you my new style. Duh! You chose your own game, you, you encroach on the box! Oh, the box! Well, let's get that on video review, shall we? No, I didn't. I want you tested for steroids. Oh, well then, just suck my blood. Sci-fi. <laughs> I did trace in your blood some mild steroids. <laughs> They're better than the heart. <laughs> that didn't work. My arm isn't made of knife anymore. Infomercial. But you can get an arm knife for only $9.95. Now you won't have to work armless in the kitchen anymore. You just. You're good to go. Just make sure you put it back in the pocket for safekeeping. That's right. Just take a look at how easily this slices through this tomato. Soap opera. 
come to. My arm is a knife. I knew it would come to this. We will have to amputate and replace your arm with my sister's. Puppet, well, at least puppets. <laughs> Drama. I felt violated. <laughs> but the good news is now, instead of an arm knife, I just have a woman's arm. <laughs> It'll make this a lot easier for both of us. Keep your hands to the discs. <laughs> Fantasy. I've been dreaming of <laughs> Let's mount upon this disc and we shall fly, fly across the realm, past the ninth hole, and into the sand trap once more. Sarcastic. <laughs> All right, I know I didn't last long. But there's no way to treat me. Hey, look. Yeah, because I thought you were so good at disc golf, and I thought, oh, yeah, you would really do well with the new discs. Well, your hair is just so short. Oh, and I so think that's really offensive. Teen drama. Don't talk about my hair again. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, I've been really under a lot of pressure. Because pressure, sure. pressure. You don't know pressure until you are five weeks pregnant and have to ace your history class, and you know that the professor likes you, but you just don't know because you're confused. Mystery. I am confused. <laughs> but I think we can follow the clues and see who that father is. Gay and lesbian. <laughs> I have a special place in my heart for pregnant men. <laughs>